when you've been through an opening day a few times, do you still get the same butterflies? Does it feel different this uh, time of year? I think it's just a normal baseball game. You kind of just get used to it. Nothing really different. How's the shoulder? It's doing well. Yeah. yeah, pretty much 100%. Uh, swung without my brace last week, so uh, doing really well. You know, easy to recover when you have supportive teammates and coaching staff and everyone to go along with it every day. What did you learn? First year in the Pac-12, kind of playing every day last year. What do you take away from that? Uh, no day's easy, no day off. Uh, it's really competitive and got to bring your best every day. Any kind of mental adjustment after shoulder injury? It's there's an out, uh, outfield just fielding a defense, and do you feel like you have? Do you feel like you're limited? Do you feel like even mentally you've limited yourself at all because you ha you have to, or is just uh, safe? I'd say the first time you do things, it's kind of like a little scary doing it the first time, but after you like break that barrier, it's easy to do it after that. Um, nothing really different. Just getting used to getting back in the routine of doing normal stuff. Who plays such a key role defensively and also, you know, uh, contributes at the plate. When you have a really young pitching staff, is that on your mind? Like, do you feel like you have to do a little extra, anything like that? Um, no, I feel like as an offense, we just got to be ourselves. I mean, we know we have the potential to be the best offense in the country or on the West Coast. So um, just picking those guys up whenever they need it and doing our best every single day and bringing our best every day. What have you picked up from so many of those new arms who are going to play prominent roles this year? Um, I mean, they're really good. Um, I think part of it's just believing that they're really good and executing their pitches and uh, just coming out with a competitive mindset every day. Well, I was talking a little bit about that, the international flavor of the, of the locker room. You've got a few guys from different countries. What's your just impression on kind of what the, the environment that creates? They're all just so fun to be around and kind of learn new things from them, even if it's like words here and there or phrases or different things they do about their culture so it's really interesting and fun to be around he was talking about how i mean the game is sort of played differently in different parts too do you yeah. see that yeah for sure i mean you look at riku and he's a little uh i don't know five six five seven kid that just plays with a lot of energy and super quick and it's a lot it's really interesting and fun to watch last year you guys are one of the best offenses in the pack how do you how do you compare last year to this year's offense and if there's better um, I mean, we attack it with the same goal, just breaking all the records we set last year, this year. And, um, you know, we had a lot of talent leave last year and we have a lot more coming back and probably have more depth than we did last year. So um, it's not going to be easy, but it also uh, should be able to be achieved uh, breaking those records. I know this is a while ago, but we haven't talked to you since. What did it mean to you when you heard that Tanner was coming back? Um, I mean, he's probably been one of my closest friends and people that I look up to. So hearing that he was coming back was just a lot of excitement. And uh, again, hanging around him for another year in his 30th season or whatever it is. Uh, yeah, it's a lot of fun.